Mastering the Art of the Polite Decline Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're tackling a crucial aspect of conversational English. Politely declining offers. Sometimes we need to say no, but it's essential to do it politely to maintain a positive conversation. We'll be focusing on the most common phrases used for declining offers, so stick around to make your English communication more fluid and polite. It's essential to understand why we need to politely decline. Politeness shows respect for the person making the offer. It prevents the conversation from turning awkward and helps maintain a positive relationship with the other person. Remember, it's not just about what you say, but how you say it. Now, let's dive into the common phrases. 1. I appreciate your offer, but I will have to pass. This phrase is polite and direct. It shows gratitude for the offer while making it clear that you can't accept it. 2. That's very kind of you, but I can't accept. Again, this phrase starts by acknowledging the kindness of the offer, which is an excellent way to soften the no. 3. I'm afraid I can't, but thank you for offering. Starting with, I'm afraid, is a soft and polite way to lead into the decline. 4. Maybe another time. This phrase does not entirely reject the offer. It keeps the possibility of accepting the offer in the future. Remember, your tone is also essential when delivering these phrases. Try to keep your voice soft and appreciative, even while declining. Practice makes perfect. Create fictional scenarios and try to use these phrases. Role play with a partner, or practice in front of a mirror. This will help you become more comfortable with these phrases, making your responses in real conversations seem more natural and confident. And there you have it. The art of politely declining offers. It might seem a bit tricky at first, but with practice, it will become second nature. Remember, the goal is to maintain respect and positive communication. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next English language learning adventure.